and welcome to a quick blender tutorial video. In this video we'll be learning how to create simple cables and to do this I have created two simple telegraph poles and I want to create cables that connect from each of these points to each other. So I'm going to use a new tool here so we're going to use a plugin or an add-on that we need to enable. So I need to go to edit preferences and I'm searching for curve add curve extra objects and I'm just going to enable that like so. I can now close my preference window select my connecting point so in this case I've got a little uh, cylinder at the top of this connector here I'm going to hold shift and select my secondary point so where I want the two cables to connect in between and in object mode I'm just going to go to add curve knots and I'm adding a cantery connector. So cantery, this will create this little line here and down in this little window down here, the property window, we can adjust some settings so we can adjust the sort of how loose the cable is between them so I can actually tighten that up by pulling the A value up. So the higher the A value is the torter the cable. I can actually create a bit of thickness to this so using the bevel radius I can increase that to add a bit of uh, weight to the cable as you can see here. Uh, let's try and actually have this to be quite thin because telephone cables aren't um, exactly thick. Uh, I can also adjust the extrusion so this is actually kind of um, stretches it out along the one axis I'm not going to do that but that basically is how you can kind of create a thin flat cable. We can also adjust the tilt and twist so if I actually just adjust my radius a bit more and then start tilting I can actually have this cable start to twist and def deform. alongside randomize which again can change the kind of weight. So if we wanted our cable to be in kind of some sleeving we could use the randomize element to create that effect. And with this technique we can also create custom cable shapes and I'll look at we'll look at how to do that in a quick follow-up video but this is just how to create basic cables and I can do this as many times as I want using the same method, selecting my two objects, adding a curve, going to knots, adding a cantery and then just adjusting my settings as I see fit and it carries across the settings I've had used previously. A uh, number of steps is the number of kind of intersections that that cable has. Um, but yeah that is a very simple way to create cables in Blender. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.